Hi guys, welcome to another video with J. Tay Sports Cards. This is Jacob. I'm coming here with you with a box break of 2018 Tops Major League Soccer. Um, I just wanted to show you some of the cards that I have in the background, and that's going to help lead into our break for today. So this one here I have, um, I'm a Sporting KC fan for sure. It's Jimmy Nielsen. It's kind of got a weird looking auto, but I think it's a really cool card. Number one of 25. This is from 2013 Tops MLS. I believe this was the first year that Tops had the license for Major League Soccer and has had it ever since. And this other card is from, or is of Matt Beasler. And this is from 2015. 2015 Tops Apex Soccer, which is, which was the first year of two years that they released Tops Apex product, which was definitely my favorite Major League Soccer product since they had the license. So to date this video, we're in a global pandemic, and to be quite frank, collecting cards is pretty hard. So. If you're a Major League Soccer fan, honestly, this has been the only sealed hobby box that you can really get, which is 2018 Tops Major League Soccer. Now, for this year, there are two autograph cards, and they're per box and one jumbo memorabilia card. So I'm going to talk a little bit more as I get into this baby. <clears throat> which, that's interesting, because this was... Or this has been the most recent year in which you could pull an autograph. In 2019 Tops MLS, which we broke on this channel uh, a couple months ago. Actually, my brother and I, we both opened a box. There were no autographs in the checklist. And I don't know exactly why. I'm betting it has something to do with its deal. With with tops or with the players or whatever, something like that. All right, we're gonna squeeze this right back here. All right, we're gonna get into this, but I wanna talk a little bit about Major League Soccer cards while we're getting into this break. So there are 24 packs, eight cards per pack. Um, this is the first year that you can get a link, or. Uh, LAFC cards. So this is what the base look like. Um, Kofi Apare. Uh, just a little disclaimer. Even though I follow Major League Soccer, I'm still not an expert at all the players. And I'm still not an expert at saying their names. <clears throat> Let's see, you know, their MLS experience and a little, a little more information. But um, honestly, what I do like about this is you can read the name easily. For most of the players. The logo is pretty predominant. Um, you can get a pretty clean picture. So honestly, I'm I pre pretty well like this Vesa. And it's important because one of the big pulls is just getting the numbered insert cards. There's a lot of different kinds of inserts. We got an All Star Orlando City Dom Dwyer. So, I used to like Dom Dwyer a lot when he was with Sporting KC, and then he kind of wanted to leave, and I don't know. We kind of got the most that we could out of him. So this shows all the leaders, which is pretty cool. Um, Nikolic did really well that year. I don't. I think he just left MLS a couple months ago. Maybe he's still there. He had a quiet year last year, though. So, Carlos Vela, which his hair is a lot longer now. Um, but yeah, first card for LAFC. So, notice that this is his first year in the league. And this is his first card. But there's nothing to denote that he's a rookie. Which that also brings up some interesting discussion of 
to be quite frank, I'm wondering what is going on with Major League Soccer cards. So a little bit of history with that. So this is technically a base, but this is with their 24 under 24 part of the base set. Um, so if you got a good young player, they'll probably have a card on the 24 under 24. These are cool. Um, yeah, I know I like collecting them. Um, yeah, those are pretty cool. Awesome. So we got our blue parallel. You can tell it's very striking, very sharp. I think this is the third box I've opened for Orlando FC. I don't know why they don't have their logo on there. 59 and 99. Yoshimar, you've done. Uh, Juan Francis, Scott Suter, Tisho Akandele, and Fernando Adi. Had a very bad year with FC Cincinnati. Who just had a really bad year in general? Nicolas Lodero, Lawrence Simon, it's a good get for LAFC, Luis Silva, Ola Camara. Uh, I think this is a tribute card to Christian Ramirez, Superman, who ended up leaving later that year. Uh, maybe not the year of this product, maybe 2019. But this is pretty cool. I can't remember what what product this was supposed to be for, but very cool, very cool insert. Taylor Kemp, Keegan Rosenberry, Tim Howard. So MLS has had a flagship product since 2013. I was showing you that there with the Jimmy Nielsen, got Teal Bunbury, DC United. So they got team cards too. I think we saw one in San Jose. Um, team cards. Um, Greg Garza. All-star insert. So this is a goals leader again. Uh, Philadelphia Union. Ryan Holland said. Toronto FC. And hey, Matt Beasley. Awesome. Uh, before MLS had their flagship or took their deal in 2013, I believe Upper Deck, they were the people that have had it ever since or before then or prior to 2013. We got Albert Ellis, 2424. Upper Deck had the license. Higuain, Young Hill Herrera. Luis, oh, hey, sweet, All right, uh, let's see if it says what set this is, can't remember what set this is, but I like this one a lot, it's very artsy, so if you're a fan of a player, like Grand Zussi, it's a great card to have, it's very cool looking. Honestly, I like the upper deck products, Benny Failhaber. Anthony Jackson, Chris Wando. I like the upper deck better for the most part. Um, for the most part, MLS has only had one release. They had one release. Actually, no, they've had two releases. They've had Giovanni Dos Santos. Jordan Morris, 24 under 24. Yeah, so I think in, in 2013 and 2014, they had two products. Tops had two products. One of them was just flagship tops. They've had that every year. And their second product, we got another blue here of Columbus Crew. Number 9 of 99. I'm not a big fan of those team cards. I don't know. I just, I don't really understand them. 
Terry Shelton. Zach Stefan, who's in the Bundesliga right now. Same thing with Alfonso Davies. Alfonso Davies, he's going to be a world superstar, I believe. He's a good guy to get. Too bad he does not have an autograph in Zardes. Um, the autograph, I was looking at the autograph checklist because they didn't have any for 2019. Any autographs, but they do for 2018. And the checklist is like very shallow. There are not many people. So, Diego Rossi, Joseph Martinez, Yotan, CJ Sapong, Kellen Acosta. So, I have a feeling that they weren't really signing additional autographs, and they were probably just using stickers that they already had. So, they probably, a couple years ago, they probably already ran out of their DeMarcus Beasley All-Star, of their autograph deal or whatever, and so they were just using up the remaining autographs that they had in 2018. And then they didn't have any for 2019, and then they kind of had a way until when or if that they... Ooh, this feels thick. I think this is a relic. When or if that they would uh, renew their deal. Uh, I don't know if there's fillers. It's like a very thin relic. Or am I completely off base? I don't think there is at all. I think I'm just... Julian Gressel, good young player. Esprila, Hector Jimenez, you know, Red Bull, 24 and 24, Jesse Gonzalez, Kevin Molino, Fugundes, 24 and 24, Tarbell. Okay, I that felt fake to me, so. Must be hallucinating or something. <laughs> So I'm hoping that they get autographs back. But again, 2019 was the first year since Topps had the license that they did not have a second product. So all they had was just the regular Topps MLS, um, which is sad because you know, if you're a fan of Major League Soccer, you want to be able to collect more things. Um, one product is really not going to suffice. Another blue. Ooh, Diego Rossi. That's a good blue one to get. So I've got a lot of blue parallels here. Dang. That's nice. $87.99. That's awesome. That's a good blue. Blue parallel to get. That's great. So in 2013, 2014, they had Topps Chrome, which, you know, Topps Chrome is pretty similar to Topps. Um, dang. We're all of our hits here. Uh, Royer, Graham Susi, Save that from Sporting KCPC. Oh, and Jerson Fernandez, awesome. Okay, so this is a different answer we haven't seen yet. The blue doesn't look great with that background. Hey, they're playing sporting in the background too. Um, Jordan Morris. Oh no, maybe we have, yeah, we've already seen this one. This has been a while though. Yeah, throwback, Jordan Morris. Kinda looks cool. Can't remember what set they're modeling that after. Harry Ship just retired. So if you wanna go back and date this video, Hey, Shiv just retired like two days ago. Um, yeah, I knew, know someone that played against Harry Ship in high school, which is cool. Morales, LAFC. This would be cool if you were just getting, or if you were an LAFC fan. Oh! Hey, oh, awesome. Okay, orange parallel. 
2424 Christian Rodon. Numbered 5 of 25. Hey, that's solid. So we just got a Rossi to 99. And now we got a Rodon to 25. That's very nice. Sweet. But yeah, that's a pretty solid under 25 to get. So 2014 or 2013, 2014, we had Topps Chrome, which is just like every other Topps Chrome product that you can think of. Um, Kai Kamara, Vancouver, former Sporting KC player, Matt Lampson. And then in 2015, 2016, which was definitely my favorite, they had Topps Apex, which Topps Apex, they had like two mini boxes in a box. Um, one pack per mini box was like 30 cards a pack. Um, they had odd. Oh, okay. Got a relic here. Um, LA Galaxy looks plain white. Dang. I'm bummed out because I think I've pulled another one of these already. Giovanni Dos Santos, number to 95. 23.95. So this is it's match used memorabilia too. Everything that we've put in these products are match used. So I've got the flay out of the player. It's a jumbo relic card. Cool. Man. Paul Ariola. 24. Christian sites. Dang, I've already pulled one of those. I feel like it's kind of, it should be hard to pull relics of the same player. Multiple boxes. Oh well, we'll see what else we get. So they tops Apex 2015, 2016. I thought it was a great product. It's very disappointed when they stopped doing it. Ethan Finley, throwback card. Jonathan Lewis, Soyberg. I'm going to coast at 24 and 24. So then what they did for 2017, 2018 is they had Stadium Club, which honestly, Stadium Club has like good photography. I actually haven't opened any of it. Uh, people did not like it. There's no demand for it. Um, they had a nice... City, David Villa. Tyler Adams, 24-24. He is in the Bundesliga now as well. Roger Espinosa, Eichel Parra. So we're still looking for two autographs. Yeah, two autographs. They do have autographed relics. That would be cool to pull, pull one. I have not pulled one of those. Okay, come on again. Look at that hair. My goodness. Paco. Ignacio Piatti. All-Stars. Stefan Fry. Ian Harks. Hector. 24-24. So then they had Stadium Club, which is... There's no demands. Prague was super cheap when I was out. Um, there are some nice parts about it, but yeah, so they had that 2017, 2018, 2019, they didn't have anything. So I'm wondering what they will do next. All-Star FC Delft, Matt Hedges. Christian Rodan, pull the parallel in number 25 from this. Daniele. Four packs left, and we're still looking for two autographs. I'm pretty sure I haven't missed anything. It'd be a shame if I have. Oh, <laughs> got one right here. Joseph Villarreal. Autograph. 
not numbered. Haven't pulled that one, so. Interesting. Joseph Villarreal for Orlando City. I mean, autograph, like, it, I don't know. I think it's solid. Um, John Johnson, Minnesota United. Mateo. Yeah. I am losing my mind. Like every other pack I'm opening, I'm, I'm thinking to myself that it feels really fair. When it's definitely not. Drew Moore. Gordy Ringa. Gashi. Ooh, Miguel Amaron. 2424. Awesome card to get. Oh, and we got another one. Hey, Lawrence Simon. Awesome. Good players to get. Just kind of creeps up on you. It's not put in backwards or anything. Sweet. Lawrence Simon. Like, very solid guy to get. Um, sweet. Not paralleled or anything. Just a base auto, but. Very cool though. He's got a nice autograph. Awesome. I'm happy with that Simon. Luis, or Luciano Costa, David Villa, LA Galaxy. We got two more packs left. And then we'll do a super quick recap at the end. Um, again, I got this Patrick Mullins. Kristen, Kristen, Bradley Wright Phillips, Quinn Irwin. I kind of want one more parallel card. I don't know. I'm feeling one more parallel card. Last pack here. Let's get some nice last pack stuff. Tim Melia, Sebastian Giovinco, Fabian, Michael Parkers. Not bad. Raylan Collin, former SKC guy. Godoy, Piatti, Beltran. All right. Um, all right, so we're gonna do a quick recap. So this is part of the base set, but you do get to see a lot of the young players that you maybe wouldn't have seen otherwise. Um, it's 24 under 24. So players that year, um, there's some good ones. Miguel Amaron, Rodan, Palaba, Tyler Adams, Kelmet Costa, Arriola, uh, Facundas, we saw Mark Gonzalez, Alfonso Davies, uh, Jordan Morris. So there are some current Bundesliga players and I've been keeping up with a lot of that. So. If you're a fan of one of those American Bundesliga players, just keep in mind that you can get an early card from Tops and Loss. Uh, I get a lot of inserts. We got about one a pack. So we got these all-star inserts. I don't know what these are called. They're more artsy, um, kind of a player collage. We got another throwback insert. And that was it. So really, when you get down to it, there were only three different kinds of inserts. So now I'm looking back at it, it was Seems a little bit more stale when we're looking at it that way. Maybe I just got really unlucky not pulling the variety there, but I don't know. Uh, we did get a couple of insert cards. The blue really sticks out. So we got Yotan, Columbus Crew, Diego Rossi. And then typically I think you'll, usually you get at least one that's not to 99. We got Christian Rodan, number 25. A relic numbered to 90 something, 95. Giovanni Dos Santos. And our autographs were Joseph Villarreal and Lawrence Simon, which were all plain, non numbered, non paralleled. So, anyways, this is a super long video, but hopefully, you got an idea of what tops Major League Soccer for 2018, what it looks like. Uh, again, if you're looking to open soccer stuff, this is one of the only affordable things, uh, at least right now. I got it for shipped. I got about 65 bucks from Steel City Collectibles. 
So um, I've opened this before, honestly, but prices of other things are insane. And if you just want to open something, if you haven't opened 2018 already, I would suggest giving it a try. Um, if you've already opened it though, to be quite frank, there's not a whole lot more variety. So I think this is the third box I've opened in 2018. I'm definitely going to leave this alone. You know, you kind of you cannot see everything that there is to see um, for the most part. I haven't gotten an autographed relic yet, but those are pretty rare and um, comparing my three boxes are pretty similar. So um, thanks for watching, guys. This is JT Sports Cards. We'll have we'll promise to be back with more content um, sooner rather than later. So thank you for watching. We are on Instagram at JT Sports Cards. We are also on eBay as well. So we are eBay sellers. And if you want to check out some of the items that we got there, I myself, I have some team lots for Major League Soccer. So if you're looking for um, kind of cheap team lots for MLS teams, uh, hit me up because I definitely can put some together. Um, and I have some up on there already. So, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Want to check out our other videos? We got 2019 Top Sun Loss. We also have baseball, or not baseball, excuse me. Keep messing up here. We got a lot of basketball, so um, I'm trying to get into soccer and just diversify a little bit more. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to leave a comment on what you think about Major League Soccer Procs, definitely love to talk about it. And um, yeah, if you could subscribe if you want to see more, um, hit the like button if you appreciate the video. And just let us know how we're doing. We want to hear from all of you as well. That's why we do it. We want to be part of the community. So thank you guys. We'll talk to you later. Signing out.